Hello and welcome to the Wachendorf Project Tool tutorial. Today we will learn how to create a clock using numeric field objects. As a basic, we will use a project resulting of the tutorial create meter object. Please first open the home page of the project. Zoom in your view using the zoom buttons on the top of the window. This helps if you work with smaller areas of the display. Now find numeric field in the object palette and drag and drop it into the field. Place the object on the left side of the gray area under the middle gouge. Now resize it. This numeric field we will use to display hours of the clock. At the end we will need three such objects to display hours, minutes and seconds. Now let us configure the properties of our first numeric field. Here you see the overview of the properties. We renamed the object, moved it to the correct position and resized it. We reference the object to the real-time variable at etc hours. We removed the border and set the background to transparent. The variable range for hours we set 0 to 24 and the preview value we set to 1. Then we select the default font for the numeric field numeric bold black in our next tutorial, we will learn how to add other fonts to the selection. The flag for leading zero adds zero before the number, as it usually is on clocks for numbers smaller 10. As hours should have no decimals, we enable this flag here. Now our numeric field for hours is ready. Let us create the fields to display minutes and seconds. As these fields are very similar to the already existing one, we will copy and paste it. Use right-click on the existing numeric field and select option Copy. Then make left-click to the frame and use the right-click to paste. Here you have two options, paste and paste as reference. The difference is that paste create a new completely independent object. Paste as reference create a child object that will later on becomes all changes we will do on parent object. In our case, we will need the option paste. The pasted object will be placed on top of the copied object. We will select the copied object in the project tree and change then the name the position and the variable reference. Now we will do the same for the seconds. To separate the fields, we will use the colon. To create it, we will drag and drop the string field to the frame. Now we will configure it. We will change the position and the size.
We will remove the border and make the background transparent. We will change the preview value. And also change font attribute and font to be the same as for numeric. Now we are ready with this column. Let us copy and paste it. For this string field we just need to move it on the correct position. Your clock is now ready.